Cat, please. Tell, weave us this tale. All right, so through um, unexpected circumstances, you all managed to enter the, the island without that much hassle. Um, spending a night there, most of you had weird, a weird dream with the Green Knight. And morning with waking with with the usual purple specter over Cortana. But after a nice morning meal, you enter the forest area of the island of Nimdus as you begin to search for the temple. All right. All right. And ye. Oh boy, I forgot. I couldn't even see how low Alish was. Oh, God Almighty! How did he get that low? Oh wait, did. It do we have a long rest? Yeah, everyone had a long rest. I guess he didn't reset his thing for a I long rest. I think it has to do with the fact that you have copy pasted some of the uh, these yeah, tokens I, I, because a lot of my, because I my uh, my health bar. Is oh yeah, my health to... bar is my health bar is just non-existent at the moment. Yeah, oh, and um, I, my so max sorry. HP is a lot lower than it's supposed to be. It's, it's supposed to be more. Yep. I'm just going to edit it right now. I am so sorry, guys. Yeah, it's fine. You're fine. Yep, it, that usually happens when, when, especially during like non combat. I'm okay with it. For the most part. But it's just a in simple case. fix. It's a simple fix. Just stop. Now, magic. Uh, shoot, did I? Hmm. Shoot, now I don't remember if I increased my HP or not. No. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. And... Augment... Gas... Mage armor? For actually, no, I'm not even gonna ask. But okay, understandable. <laughs> um, pardon, cat. If I may ask, can I roll perception to see what's ahead? Um, uh, sure. Okay. Oh. You see. A lot of trees. Yeah. I... Back with us again! No! <laughs> I am not falling for another freaking plant! Yep. Yeah. Nala's gonna use. Sur try, like to try to use survival to see if there's any tracks leading in any per per direction, because. Would not be surprised if some. If, Someone else is trying to find what we're what we're looking for too. Understandable. Thank you. Saber is gonna raise his eyebrow at the not looking for another plant comment. Oy. But he'll also roll perception. But also roll perception just to see if, just to keep my own eye out for anything that might be of use. Saber, don't ask. Too late, I've already gotta tell him. <laughs> Oh, don't you dare! The label on that oh. got eaten by a big plant. Also, apologies, I didn't mean to roll. I, I forgot. It's okay. To I'll, take, I'll take that. the first. I'll take the first number. Um, not for your survival. You don't really see that much in the way of track prints or or footprints anywhere, and 
Saber, you see a tree to your left, a tree to your right, and a squirrel! Mm. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Nice, nice up reference. Uh -oh. I muted. Okay. I just posted what I was asking, but forgetting I was muted, so... Do I need to roll to try to find the where the temple might be? Um, if you're trying to roll, it is going to be investigation or survival. Thank you on that one. 23. 19. Investigation. From what Hold you on. can um. see in this area, there is no hint or or loose branch or any indication of the temple near this area. So we'll probably have to walk in deeper. Fair enough. And also, Cactus, mind doing me a favor, darling. What? Hover over Quinn and take a look at your marker. Hmm? Hover over Quinn and handle your marker. I don't see it. Quinn's investigation. Oh, now I see Dwight. Wrong end. Oh. Sorry. You My mind was wrong. blanking for a second, sorry. Did you I... didn't do anything. You didn't do anything oh. wrong. That was a natural twelve. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Add so... that twelve to the list. Yep. But, but anyway... came on though with the group. So since we're heading in, what is the recommendation for the sort of lineup? And please, this time, please let's not leave out of the lineup. I will say those. It's a bit of a force of habit for us, but I would recommend those who have a good tracking skill be up front, and those who have a good range when it comes to magic or weapons, stay in the back in case anything pops off. Healers stay in the middle. All right, I guess uh, Alicia and I'll hang back. I have a way to I get. Thought in front with, of... I thought you were good with tracking, no. Uh, I am a little bit, but probably not as good as you. But it's more learned than rather than innate. I guess you can put it that way. All right. But uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just you. You know what? You and I stay up front. Uh, just be careful. Yeah. And where should the blades be? I would say if you're good with tracking Saber, then you can stay up front with Ogman. So that way, because he's My also a blade himself. My skills do not lie in tracking. I can keep my eye out, but I am not a tracker. I don't know. I would personally say maybe around the middle. Does that sound okay enough, right? That sounds okay. So that way, for those that are in the back that are a bit preoccupied, at least Cortana will have somebody keeping her company and also watching her back. If that's, that's okay with Cortana. It's okay with me. As you wish. Mm -hmm. Um, where would you like? Where, um, uh, where would you like me to go? With the middle and Cortana, because you know your history. Huh? In the middle with Cortana, because you know your history. Mm -hmm. So. Let's not bling that up. <laughs> Too late, we already did. <laughs> but let's continue on, though. So, I would recommend uh, you uh, take the lead, Ogman. You have more experience in the woods. Not these woods, sadly. Well, actually, let me phrase that. Cat, would I have experience in these woods at all, or no? Mm, well, in general, I meant. Uh, these trees are slightly different than the trees on the mainland. Let it not be said I didn't ask, so... 
<sighs> okay, so I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna guess it's survival to see. So where can I be able to? Uh, crap, I'm trying to think. Based off of my previous 23 for survival, would I figure out which direction we might need to go to possibly find it, or no? Um. Or would you like me to roll again? Roll again. One moment. Let's make sure I'm on normal. Yep, public. 15 this time. You kind of figured that down might be better. Okay, everyone, let's slowly head south. So, give me a second. I'm going to do this combat style, so I apologize, everyone. You are perfectly fine. So, I'm actually going to head here instead and just take a look southbound to see anything dangerous or not while trying to not be seen myself. So. It's like you guys are suspicious of the woods. We Gee, have... I wonder why! <laughs> Experience. Yes. Yeah, and... we don't trust you, cat. It's not and... that we don't trust you, just that they could be a lot worse, and I'm saying that because Cat has not been worse. I will warn you all of that now. Oh yeah, hi, Josh. Oh, yeah, oh Josh. Josh is okay as well. Anyway, continuing on though. But, and Augman, before you go too far, if you need extra eyes, I can send Zuri up to you. That might actually be helpful. And he's gonna gently pat his shoulder, where Zuri can take a roost sort of idea on his shoulder. And Nefrae sending Zuri up to him. Ah, not both of us. There we go. So, boom. So, boom. And is perched on Ogman's shoulder. Yeah. And he does wave everyone forward. Alright. Let's do oh, one moment. I'm gonna make another survival check to uh, this time see if there's anything dangerous in the area. I'm also gonna meet up. You do not detect any traps within the immediate. Hey! <laughs> 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 um, survival. <laughs> survival is wisdom, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling just a flat wisdom check for Zuri because. He is not proficient with survival. It's not one of his skills. Perception is. Okay. Uh, sound, I know the word ends in dom. You don't need to get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so that, that... That's a 14 for Zuri. Okay, for those rolls, you do not detect any dangerous animals in the immediate facility. Um... <laughs> Plants or animals? I did state plants. Yep, neither. <laughs> I'm assuming there was a fascinating plant related story amongst you people. We are not talking about it. We can talk about it later. One no, that clearly we're not involves. About it at all. One that clearly involves Quinn. <laughs> story for another time. So. Oh. Or within private facilities. So there. Uh, Zuri is still on Ogden's shoulder, so... Yes. Did I possibly trigger anything? I'm asking Kat that first. Uh... Your foot's not a twig. I would say let's dial back on the suspicion. Not all the way, but just we have it at a ten. Can we dial it back to about maybe a six? Fair enough. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
I just had an idea. <laughs> Who here knows a lot about the Thedius artifact recruit? The thing we're going after. That would be myself in a leash. Humor me. Is there any puzzles or creative creativity things of creativity they are known to enjoy or like or partake in? That could help us. Uh DM? That would be a history check. Give me a sec. You gotta love me having a plus nine on history. I know, we do. <laughs> yeah, so you know that the god that artifact you're searching for, the gods, um, really had a fascination with crops, uh, fruit trees, um, as well as uh, flowers. She loves making flower crowns for, for her um, subjects. Oh. So well, if you're looking for some kind of orchard or field. And it's good. That's kind of going to be tough with the, with a big forest like this. Not no. really. Alvin's going to use a survival check to look around for any trees that would possibly be bearing fruit. She's the goddess of farming and agriculture. In other words, Sorry. she's the goddess of flora. So as I just said, any trees in the area that might produce fruit based off of what Hint Nephrite gave. Saber raises a hand. Yes. Why, first of all, does anyone know why I got this sudden thought of, and I quote, if you say, if I may, I will slit you from <laughs> ear to asshole and wear you like a jacket. And second, if this is the god of farming, then simply any wild fruit tree would not suffice. You would have to be one grown and cultivated by humanoid hands. So, we would not be looking for a single fruit-bearing tree, we'd be looking for an entire area. Specifically, we'd be looking for the cut weed have to likely i would suggest then perhaps we would want to get high ground and see we can get to look at the entire island for an area where we can see either trees or or plants neatly arrayed in a in rows which would be an orchid or other humanoid planted set of trees or a set of fields which would probably which could possibly be again planted farmland and we have so basically to... we need someone who can climb a tree and has good eyesight or any gestures to zuri who then points to avenger and then he says the name or uber in what other words we need an aerial view yeah mm -hmm. Saber nods. So, um... Uh, I'm willing to right, send Avenger up. Because he didn't give all the verbal control of Zuri, so... Yep, so I will roll for Zuri. Give me a moment. To fly up off Ogman's shoulder first, though, because he's currently still on there. Let me fly up off of Ogman's shoulder. He can fly high. I can't. I can't lift him off the map. I know, I know, but yeah. The chain from his build is. Oh, you want me to throw him up so he can get? Him... Can't As they both my... fly? No, uh, he he wants me. You know, he wants to me. He, 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 he wants Holmir to. Uh, he wants them all to the uh, you know hammer through him upwards to get the uh, aerial view. It's like I don't want to waste a feather fall just to do that. Or gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, gentlemen. I believe Cortana has the easiest thing out of all of us, aside from birds or hammer throwing. Yeah, oh, right. and okay, she Tom. holds up her broom. Oh, right. With Ogman's hand on his face after the face bomb. Oh, I forgot about that. As his hand just slowly slides down his face. 
Volunteer. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yep, that's, that, that was me. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. That's a joking moment. I just said volunteer, which is a critter moment, cat, <laughs> and then the screen went white. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, Saber just looks. Just looks at the broom. You have a dowsing implement. Not really. Cortana, if you may. Yep. And she gets on the broom and takes off. Um, pretty much like uh, Harry Potter with the Firebolt. <laughs> so I'm gonna have an icon on her that shows she is flying. After she's up in the air, Alvin's gonna tap his earring and say to Cortana only. Just re make sure you realize us what you can see from up there. And do try to be careful. Okay. So, better view thanks to Cortana. Are you guys going to move at all? Yes. Ye yeah, I'm going to move forward a bit to here. I'm still going to be behind the tree line, but and I'm yeah. I'm hanging behind a uh, mm -hmm. and I'm making sure to peek over this way to make sure that there isn't anything dangerous as well. So, Pretty much, we're not following Oliver anymore. We're following Cortana. <laughs> we're following the broom. Yeah. Uh, but actually, wouldn't it be more follow out of character? Wouldn't it be more follow the leader? Mm. It would, yes. but I'm not singing Peter Pan. Yeah. And we don't want to risk trademark. Yeah. But no, I was referring to the old nursery rhyme. Mm, okay. But anyways, but I'm gonna. Make sure to ask this question first. Is this a tree, tree path, or is that a path path? It's a, it's a small path, yes. Okay, making sure, because from my zoomed out in this side, it looks like tree line cover. Sorry. So, I'm going to go about here. Oh, Zuri is still going to be on an augment shoulder, so quick reminder of that. Thank you. Yep, yeah, enough right in... Nefrid, Holnir, and Elise aren't moving that much because, like I said, they're keeping the they're keeping the rear. Yeah. Yep. Can be patient with me. I'm moving to for two people. I know. You're fine. And, and I'm, I'm just still gonna wait for everyone to catch up to where him and Null are because we do not want to get separated. Fair. Uh, gonna go here and take a look over this way before going. I would like to make a smell-based perception roll. Okay. See if see if I can smell anything that is different from the forest. Usually, plants give off a, especially farm plants, give off different scents. Um. Who's in charge of Atticata? Who's in charge of a leash? I am. Pat. Yeah. And okay. quick one, I did say I wanted to take a quick peek over this way or behind the rock. Okay. So. Yeah. Alright, so. Ugman, you don't see anything dangerous in the immediate vicinity. Um, Holonir. All you can smell is uh, fresh, fresh grass. Um, some um, old tree smells, and maybe someone's fart. 
And I can't do it, you. Continuing on, though, because the pathway goes... Give me a second to get the ruler. Goes this way, by the looks of things, so... Taking a quick peek... Oh, sorry. Eh. Taking a quick peek over this way, because you still have it blackened, so, uh... Sorry. Yep, this You're fine. Give me one moment. That's okay. Because okay. remember, Cortana all the way down here. Yeah. Yeah, and we we could have taken the uh, path over here to circle oh. around. Well, Cortana went from there to there, so. Uh... Yeah, and we're trying to follow. Yeah, I know. The yeah. same. So right now, she's just uh, searching the area. She has no idea what she's looking for right now until she says, "You know, I got something." Okay. There. Yeah, we probably should have told her to look for farmlands, not something farm-related. Or a break in the trees. Oh, we could relay um, that to her. Or she could have already heard us, because I remember turning mine on. Yep. Yes, I can still hear you guys. And I think I found something. Oh. I'll grab okay. a trees with a lot of red fruit on it. Mm. A lot of red fruit? Oh, it could be... Uh, we won't know until we get there. Okay, we're coming. So, I'm just going to head... Well, actually, sorry, I'm going to map out the path so that way the DM knows I'm going this way. I'm going to be going like that. So, boop. Uh, ah, shoot! We lost Cardona! She is off into the darkness. She was taken by a dark tentacle creature. No! Not this! <laughs> what? Okay, so... No! Out of measuring, so yeah. from Cactus, bam! 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 To catch up. That's what I was thinking as well, but I don't want to be like, go too far ahead, and it's like, oh, hey, you triggered something. <laughs> Fair enough, but I'm just, that's just the route I see, that we can catch up to her. Yeah. So. Boop. And this is why I play Theater of the Mind. Yeah. <laughs> We're sorry. We are so sorry. It's not your fault, it's just the nature of these kinds of games mm -hmm. when a lot of the entire session will be spent just walking to the destination with you're just moving your token across the map and nothing's actually happening. Yeah. There yeah. and again, we're sorry. Who? Augment. And Zori on top of you as well. Yeah, true. And if I gotta... Oh, thank god, I was gonna rage. <laughs> god, I thought Zuri still had a plus six to his perception. No, it's a plus eight. Thank god. Thank you, level up. Mm-hmm. Alright, now we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Another bit of trees. Squirrel! Oh, we have a dragon. Yeah. A dragon. Okay, uh, I'm gonna continue to go ahead. And it's not Sir Stepping. It's not Sir Stebbington, I'll tell you that. <laughs> what? It's Holder's Pet Squirrel. Or have you forgotten that he has a pet squirrel named Sir Stabbington? Mm -hmm. well, really well, well, this squirrel just climbs right back up to the trees, but uh, Zuri does see something else, too. Uh-oh. What looks Girl? to be a, a silver butterfly with its wings glimmer like stardust. Wait a minute. Um, hey Kat, can I make a quick history check to see if this has any similarities to that of the fo foxes we saw in Nephrite's hometown? 
You forget something, Quinn. Only Zuri noticed this, not Quinn. Crap. Uh, Zuri will actually stomp his foot on Ogman <laughs> to actually make him notice the butterfly. So would I get advantage at my next perception check to possibly see it? Yep. Second perception. You see it. Hey! Oh good, I was going to be like, Nat 1, uh, sorry, you were a little distracted by Zuri stomping on your foot to notice the butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's going to quietly point it out to the rest of the group, so... And he's also um, going to put Cortana via the earring, so... He oh! Found over the butterfly. Does anyone know what it means? Maybe it, maybe it has something similar to that of those foxes. Hmm. Chad? Because that's a moonlight butterfly, if I remember correctly for D&D stuff. But... Do I need to roll history? Yeah. Before the butterfly gets away? 17? Mark! Oh wait, I was about to say yeah. market. No, that was an eight. That was an eight. Yeah. It was an eight. It I was know. an eight plus nine. Yep. So that's right. It clicks in your head that this butterfly does have a similar appeal as the fox's anemia. So good or bad, since I, you know, neutral but good because. Chanti doesn't have any affiliations with butterflies, but you see a lot of butterflies when there's crops or flora around. Well, after it, Ami's gonna now, sadly, and I apologize, now dash ahead to where it is. In two trees. Uh, okay. So, Zori over shoulder. Out of character, this is gonna bug me, but do you know what flora means? Flowers. Greenery. No. It That's means fauna. plant. No, fauna is animals. Flora just means plants. Flora means any kind of plant. So he's saying it's like we're looking for flora doesn't doesn't really narrow it down because you've got flora all around you. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me. I'm sorry for the bugging. Thank you for the correction. You're welcome. You guys were doing a joke on purpose or not, but it was funny. It was an accident, so I'm glad he caught it. Yeah, but that, since we're now following the butterfly... Yep, you you follow the butterfly through a lot of heavy um, greenery. Oh, jeez. Aura? <laughs> uh, this is gonna be Jay, my... what are you? He's Shay, what are you, the Grandma Nazi? Yes, yes first he is. Of all, the, first of all, Grandma is a, about the way words and, words and sentences are structured. This is about the proper classification, which is an entirely different subject. Second of all, no, I'm just extremely fucking pedantic. <laughs> what does that mean? Pedantic is when you insist upon the exactness of a set of a statement. Oh, so you're a statement Nazi. Mm -hmm. no, I suppose. Not you a... guys. Let's continue on. <laughs> Please. I know this will be my punishment for the session because I misused a word. <laughs> and. Augment is just shooting all over the place. Hey, at least I'm waiting for you guys to catch up instead of going boom, 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 boom every time it lights up. You're fine, you're fine. Hey, at least you're not Dezo. Hmm. As Kat had asked us to, can we please drop that subject? Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, sorry. I'm guessing that is the person who left the group. Yeah. yeah, we don't talk yeah. about it. Yes. 
It's Indeed. similar to your. It's similar to the situation back in Welcome to the Show. I, okay, okay. I get it. Moving on. I am aware. Mo moving on. Moving on. You are beating a dead horse. Yes. To change the subject, while we while we are moving our tokens along, out of character, I do have a quick funny story. Yes. So I, mem I meant true. about me being pedantic. I had a pedantic off with my uh, housemate, where I said to him, "Don't cite pedantry to me, witch." Sorry, <laughs> I said, "Don't cite pedanticness to me, witch." I was there when it was first created. Um, actually, it's pedantry, uh, not pedantic. Just God damn it! Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. What do you mean? Uh, oh, what, you... Got... what got... did you do? <laughs> you tripped on a rock as you were as you were running. So <gasps> since I've been trying to keep the party close together. The party's just gonna see <laughs> face plant into the ground. You might want to just... watch your step there, Ogman. He just throws up his thumb, I'm okay, and gets up. <laughs> You take that much damage. There's a bump on the head. Mm -hmm. Enough of the hard. earrings you hear Katana going, Where are you guys going? We're following the butter. We're following a midnight butterfly. Where are you? Oh, I got this. He's going to fire up a singular Eldritch Blast up into the air. What? Okay, A, thank you for doing that, but also B, watch where you might be shooting! I mean, I uh, whole mirror contacted her. Yes, but that doesn't give her access to tracking us via air. Yep. And, and he's gonna say, yeah. You see her I could have flying simply, on a broomstick just above you guys. I could have simply struck a tree. Yeah. But, I mean, continues running and following the butterfly if it's still followable or no? Um. Make a perception check. I got you, Missouri. Give me a minute. I want to find the reception. Nat 20. Nat 20. Yep. That's, Yo! My, that's my department. You yep. do not see the butterfly <laughs> anywhere. What? What did you say Nat 20? Yeah, but still, we gone. may have missed the butterfly. The butterfly's gone. Yeah. Oh, no, not, not this again. What do you mean? And I'm leaving it open for Cat to say something happens, possibly? Something major? Or am I free to continue speaking? Um. Squirrel? Okay. Okay, so you're free to continue speaking. If you mean what what does he mean again? It's the same thing that happened to us in Nemia when we were trying to find another artifact. Indeed. So do you think the entrance could be around here somewhere? And before you ask, I am going to make the Correct me if I'm wrong, survival or investigation? I think it's either or. Yep, it's either or. Okay, wouldn't it, wouldn't it actually be Arcana if if we're trying to look for something magical? Okay. I got it. <laughs> okay. It's different than if... trying to track it down. Mm -hmm. uh, Arcana is more like the knowledge of what this spe a spell is versus, oh, I can just use it to find something magical in the air. Yeah. So, funny you say find if I I don't have this. However, I really hope somebody does. Does anybody have the spell locate object? I do not. Oh wait, let me check. Uh, let me check. Uh, uh let me see. I I don't. Oh, I'm gonna that. whisper into his ear and focusing on Ephraim. Do but mark. And he's whispering the do but mark bit. So. <laughs> uh, nope. So, 
not locate object on Quinn and Ogden. I know the spell you're talking about. Which would help combat wise. Actually. Hmm. Out of character. I actually do have the spell locate object, but it's via my mark boom. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's why well, I said I do but uh, mark. Um, if I may, I have a simpler solution. There's an arc of tree trees where I was part that I was waiting for you guys. So that might be where the butterfly is. Oi. Can we just move our tokens over there then? Yes, please. Uh, uh, yeah. Ping it again. It's down. Yep. It's... yep that's how yep, gonna be going. Yep, she's gonna fly over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. So, so just whoever Cortana is, just zoom the tokens. Yeah. We are currently now waiting on the well. What? Oh. Also? Yes. Uh Soundwave, Courtney says hi and that I should try to torture you. <laughs> cool. Okay, tell her I said this. You torture me on recording for this session for a third time in a row. I will make sure that I will find a way to torture her on one of the live streams. And I will make sure uh, I go what do you the mean, What do you screen. mean the third what do you mean the third time? The guys have noticed that I'm flustered around you and I it's obvious. Oh yes. Oh actually that does rem that does remind me I was gonna ask you a question. <laughs> yes. Sorry, about you forgetting the wolf part of me. You know, I would have expected you of all people to forget about my butt. <laughs> it has been a third time in a row feel free to torture Courtney on her streams I think that would be quite amusing uh, continuing on though, with this campaign Just continuing mm. with the campaign please I'm sorry, sorry. I was trying to keep everyone on track yes so at this location you do see a couple of heavy tr trees and the area until you manage to see this in the middle of, of this little hamlet of trees. See, oh, it's like we found it. Yeah, you are better than I could be, and I'm sorry for being blinded by the butterfly. That's why I feel free to slap me later. It's okay, uh... the videos was the same thing. <laughs> and Ogman's gonna get closer to Nephrite slowly so I can just hop off of Ogman's shoulder and hop onto Nephrite before slowly going in first. Okay, so I will, well, since Nephrite's right behind you, just have her over Zuri. No, not no it, birds. It would actually be best if Holnir went first into the temple. Understandable, but we've already said Armin's going to be first in line. So, Cortana, if you can, we've found it, so when you can, land close by to an open area and we'll go in. Will do. Do you need I any mean, help to search for traps? I mean, that's why I say uh, uh, Holdir should go in. He's a barbarian. He gains this at level 2. I would right. say... Let all three of you guys go in, so that way, A, we have a tank if there are traps and they're triggered. B, let Quinn go, since he is a rogue and he has a better chance of finding traps than I ever can. And C, depending on the temple's alignment, what, at least there's one third of a chance that all three of you can go through. Okay, so you three are heading in there first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Make a perception check at disadvantage. Um, Question. Could you forget? Is... Give me a second. Give me a second. I know I have it. And I wanted to check if this is for sight. Is it due to be? Is yeah. it because it um, is? When you would have, um, you have normal. 
Do okay, I have yep, normal? Okay, well? yep. Augman can see normal too. Ah, I have dark vision, so. Perception? So okay, it's then still all good. three of you normal? Ah, okay. oh, nuts. Okay. Nat 20 for Quen. I got the one for right. Molnir. Yeah. Quen, you can easily see a set of stairs leading down in into the earth of the temple. I see any traps along the way as well. You did not detect any traps in the immediate vicinity. But what you happens to you, Cat? Cat, show me what happened with my low roll. Do I at least see the stairs, or did I somehow trip down all of them? Um, I, I say you did well enough that you don't trip down the stairs. I am, I'm not making you down the road. Funny. So does everyone go down? Yep. Hold yep. It. Because... we'll point out the stairs. Ag agree, there are stairs descending, but we don't know if the magic here is magic based or what have you so yep so oh. so can anyone else see in this darkness or is this in a nutshell is this magical darkness or is this normal darkness this is normal darkness it's, okay. certainly, it's not advanced darkness oh yeah beat me to it mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Luckily, oh, sorry. yes as, also just to say as cortana lands Saber just looks over to her and says, I'm assuming, looks over her, looks at the broom and says, I would assume that would be incredibly uncomfortable given your gender. Excuse me? <laughs> I said, I assume that would be incredibly uncomfortable given your gender. Uh, having a broom between a woman's legs, it's highly uncomfortable. Um, Cortana being completely oblivious to what he's saying, she goes, she looks at Nefra and is going, Can you translate that for me, please? He, I don't understand that... either. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'll explain for, I'll explain for Selector, woman, broom, directly between the legs, all the way to no, a very no. sensitive area. No, it's no, no, not no. comfortable. Ben doesn't know. Ah, fair enough. To, uh, to explain to the gentlemen of the group, for fair a enough. woman having a broom in a very sensitive region, or actually, best way for me to describe it, think about if I kicked you in your never reason. That would hurt. That would That's hurt. exactly how it feels for a broom. Okay, then. <clears throat> Continue on, everyone. <laughs> so, what's in this room, and what can we see in it? Because I can see 120 feet. Same here. 120 feet. Well, you see a wall and a door. Okay, then. Quentin, Homer, can you detect, can you sense any traps nearby? This is where you guys are going to take the lead. And I was actually going to take a step back to be the center of into the center uh -huh. of the group. Alright, uh... My guess this will be investigation? Uh, yep. Very good. Um, jo Jovial, um, do you want one of us to give the, uh, give each other advantage? Or do you, or do you want to do it separately? I'm just gonna do this. Shoom. Heh. Okay, how many deck saves does he need to do? Uh, let's see here. Uh, carry the one. Uh, and carry um, the three. Uh, uh, mark that. Zero. Okay. <laughs> uh, yep, I think I can vouch for that. Uh, yeah, with that your helps. investigation, there are no traps in the immediate facility. Mm. All 120 Remember. feet. <laughs> Yes. Mm, well, well up to the wall in the door. Yeah. Remember, danger sets. I have advantage on dexterity saving throws against traps. True. So I can just fun. literally run into danger and be fine. 
Uh, Holnir? Actually, I don't, everyone? He's gonna gently motion to be like, get back. In case the door explodes. Yeah, never did move. Because yeah. the player has something in her hand. That's okay. I'm gonna probably roll investigation again. Here it goes. What can he tell about the door? It looks like a plain old wooden door with maybe with a rusty handle. Oh, Nia, would you please open it? If you don't mind. Sure, what must I roll? You just open it? Yep. Oh. And Lady has activated the light to be so that way people can see, so. So. Okay, what object um, are you um, touching? Oh, he has a he has a pebble. Okay. So doors open. One, hold there. You dragon. I push and pull the door. I move to slide it left and right, up and down. Right. Also, why is there suddenly an orange and yellow thing everywhere? Um, That's how dragon's light. light. Gotcha. Yeah. So the door is open. What do the two in the front of us see? Holy freaking crap! What are you guys? I mean, then peeks into the door. He looks uh, like the saber. I don't think you're going to have to worry about that 70 split. Wait a minute. Hold on. Um, Can I make a perception on the statues? Hold on. The best way to do that is to look at their faces. Does it look like they were torn to stone? Um, you see that, um, the statues appear to have, um, happy faces on them. That's not creepy. Do they look like they're reaching out for the gold? You have one or two of them reaching out for the gold. Um, uh, the others have, like, their hands in the air, or them looking down to to their hands close to their chest. A suggestion. Yeah. Perhaps we do not touch the gold. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Hearing what you're seeing, guys, so... Wait, I heard a whisper? But, Alish, Nefret, you guys coming? Incoming. Yeah. Why does I... this remind me of an old story saying that a tre so some treasure was forbidden? Well, in whatever case, we're not going to touch the gold. Right. Mm -hmm. So. And, and anyone who got that, I am not apologizing. I know. Don't. No need to apologize. I got it too. <laughs> yeah. I got mm -hmm. it. So, Owen is carefully watching his steps to make sure he doesn't touch the gold even while stepping on it. Same yeah. here. And we. And since there's a nail thing up ahead, one thing at a time, guys. Yep. Please ask, like, would you like me to detect magic? Take a little bit of time to set that up. How long? It'll take me ten minutes. Do you guys mind waiting ten minutes for a to do that? Yeah. It's one well. question. Hmm? Yes. Will it only detect magic in this room, or will it last for the entire dungeon? Tempo. It will last, it will last, let's see, once I cast it, it will last 10 minutes, and anything within 30 feet, I can detect it magical, and once I detect it as magical, I can look at it and see what kind of magic it is. 
Saber nods. I'm willing to wait. That sounds quite useful. Agreed. Mm. So, so, only our Step to the side and begin his 10 minute ritual to detect magic. Uh, you guys want to hurry up the, the 10 minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. No, we wanted to literally wait an exact 10 minutes in real time. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Come on. So once, once, he get, once he gets done, he will position himself close to the center of the room and see if there's any magical effect on the gold, the statues, or anything else within 30 feet of all right, so to start off with, you do detect yeah. magic on the gold and on the statues. Uh, the gold is laced with a uh, petrification spell. So, okay. so you can deduce that these statues were once people, most likely bandits, but also someone mold earth on them to uh, make them look more ancient. Oof. And That's also disturbing. make them smile. Oh. That's even more disturbing. So he will tell everyone of this fact. It's like, so your deductions and suspicions are correct. There is an enchantment on the gold that will turn you into a statue. That's it. Uh, what? Did you say they. Someone used mold earth on them? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's disturbing. Look, creative. Oh, no. Hold there. What can you say? There might, be, there might be somebody occupying this location as a guardian. Mm hmm. Hold there. Yes. Uh, I I'm always going to be looking around the room now for any kind of door, so is this a door of some kind or no? It looks to be a staircase. Yes. Hold there, lead the way. And everyone's single file, file going down. Neat. And Odlin's actually going to stay back with Ortana and Nephrite. The one time he does not have a broom in his bag. No fight. Sweep away the... What? I'm... What? Standing on the gold. Yeah, make a dexterity save, please. Uh, do we are we really gonna punish someone for where their token is? You know what? No. no. I was gonna say because let's face it, we're just trying to move our tokens along, and sometimes. You know, we can't move them the full way because of just how where our mouse is and such. Yeah. So. Because if that was the case, then when you would have had multiple situations where you would have been punished for where your token was. Yeah. So now. Um, so barking at me eat. for that. Barking at me for that was really uncalled for. Yeah. I didn't mean to. I was just trying to warn you so that you didn't make the same mistake. No, you did. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, then I'm sorry. Thank That's you. Fine. Long hallway. Anything coming up for a ping? Oh crap, I didn't roll investigation. I'm a f I picked up a rock a while back. Oh. Okay. I'm, a f I'm a throw the rock. If throw the rock. Disregard the plus one, I keep that fell handed. 
up at all times. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But 11... And I don't think you're raging, rock. are you? I'm He's throwing the rock. He's not raging. No. So are you raging? No. no. Yeah. Uh, you throw the rock. It skips out a few stones. Nothing up. Okay. Oh. I tried to roll investigation again. Oh, sorry, Jovial. That's fine. So Jovial's running 70 feet ahead. Well, look. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. We needed the Zoidberg. <laughs> that's not Zoidberg. That's Curly. Yeah, I, I, that's what I, I was thinking. But... I was... Do, I, do I need to make any uh, saving throws? Mm, as of right now, no. <laughs> okay, so... Everyone southbound. Ho! Oh. <laughs> Why did you say spade? I don't get it. We've been around though. Uh, we still gotta get Korakana and everyone else southbound, so. Oh, I know, I was waiting for Korakana. Mm -hmm. so. Group. You coming, Saber? Yes, give it your second. I'm just gonna look back to Cortana and just give her a nod of like, I'll stay with him. No, no, this, that was me forgetting to move my token. Oh, sorry. Thought it was like an in character thing. Sorry. No, no, no. That, give me a second, was me out of character. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. Is it okay to roll investigation on the dog? On the, on the door again? It is. Okay. Oh, jeez. It is a door. Yep. I'm starting to get crappy walls. Yay. Well, I... Well, I don't think I can see the door because Null is taller than Neff, right? Yeah. Well, then... Alright. The door... I touched the door, then. It's... Uh, it is a regular stone door. A push and a pull. A slide to the left and to the right. And, and that's how he opens the door. And you just have to face the trap. See? Dexterity save. How much in range? Uh, just hold near. Okay. Oh, just hold near. So, thank you. Can, be can, all... you, can yeah. you manage to get out of the way just fine as the door kind of takes off its hinges and lunges um, forward? Living door mimic. We're gonna have to fight it, aren't we? Um, nope. It's so with the door gone, you see a uh, long hallway. So it wasn't a mimic, it was just an old door falling off its hinges. Mm -hmm. Wait, I, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you go in? There we go. As you step through, you see a bunch of torches light up to reveal this giant room. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. no. I... Oh, no. I think well, I, I will say the garden is beautiful. Mm. 
<clears throat> yep, you see a garden full of beautiful flowers and a statue of a woman opening her arms as if to say, welcome. Do you have a picture of the statue by chance, Cat? I do not. Cute. Oh well. Think of the best way I can describe the um, statue for Cat, if you don't mind it, it's more or less like the statue that you can see from Rio de Janeiro. Sound, I just PM'd you why I said oh no. Well, in that case, we probably should not touch the flowers. If this is like a kind of uh, you know, god of flowers and such. Mm-hmm. So, sound, you mean the Jesus wants a hug? Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that one. I didn't want to say it. 